The United States has killed Iman al-Zawahiri, the leader of the Al-Qaeda and one of the world's most wanted terrorists. A key mastermind of the 9-11 terror attacks, Zawahiri was killed in a CIA drone strike in Kabul on Sunday. Our next report has all the details. Take a look. The leader of Al-Qaeda was killed by a U.S. drone strike in Afghanistan's capital over the weekend, according to President Joe Biden on Monday, in the biggest blow to the militant group since founder Osama bin Laden was killed 11 years ago. My fellow Americans, on Saturday, at my direction, the United States successfully concluded an airstrike in Kabul, Afghanistan that killed the emir of Al-Qaeda, Iman al-Zawiri. None of his family members were hurt, and there were no civilian casualties. I'm sharing this news with the American people now, after confirming the mission's total success through the painstaking work of our counterterrorism community and key allies and partners. Zawahiri, an Egyptian surgeon who had a $25 million bounty on his head, succeeded bin Laden as al-Qaeda leader after years as its main organizer and strategist. Zawahiri helped coordinate the 9-11 attacks that killed nearly 3,000 people in New York City. Biden also said he masterminded or played a key role in attacks on the USS Cole in the year 2000 that left 17 sailors dead, as well as on two African U.S. embassies two years prior, which left hundreds dead and thousands more wounded. No matter how long it takes, no matter where you hide, if you are a threat to our people, the United States will find you and take you out. A Taliban spokesperson confirmed the weekend strike and strongly condemned it. That drone attack is the first known U.S. strike inside Afghanistan since U.S. troops and diplomats left the country in 2021. It could also solidify Washington's assurances that it can still address threats from Afghanistan even without a military presence in the country. Republican and Democratic lawmakers lauded the weekend strike. But Zawahiri's presence in Kabul now raises questions about whether he received sanctuary from the Taliban after they swept back into power last year. One U.S. official said senior Taliban officials were aware that Zawahiri was in Kabul and said Washington expected the Taliban to abide by an agreement not to allow al-Qaeda fighters to re-establish themselves in the country. And for more on this, we were earlier joined by the president for Center of Security Policy, Fred Flates, from Washington, D.C. He is also the former NSC chief of staff. Listen to his inputs. There were reports that uh, they were already looking for a replacement for Zawahiri because he was ill. Uh, and I think that's always in the cards. We, we, ha we are not able to knock off these terrorist leaders and they're quickly replaced. Uh, but I think a question here is to talk about... Uh, whether this marks a change in Biden administration policy on the question of terrorism and radical Islam as terrorism. Will they make this a higher priority and recognize that these groups thrive in poorly governed areas of the world, like Afghanistan and especially in Africa, where Al Qaeda and ISIS are making great inroads? If this indicates the Biden administration recognizes that and will move terrorism higher in its list of national security priorities, I'd be quite pleased. We on World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.